Thank you. And congratulations to all of our amazing honorees. You have definitely made our lives so much better, and we appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s widow, the true queen of America, Coretta Scott King, once said to me, Byron, our greatest weapon is the truth. If we bring the truth, we will always win. So tonight, let's talk about the truth. The truth is, black America is under attack. At this time, 44 states are debating which black history to teach in schools. There's only one black history that should be taught, the truth. Over 20 states have already put laws on the books to stop teachers from teaching the truth. They are downplaying our contributions to this beautiful country and changing our narrative and diminishing our images. Unfortunately, we have seen this before. You erase the truth so you can repeat the atrocities again. That's why I've dedicated my life to building one of the world's biggest media companies, simply because we must tell our own stories, keep control of the narrative and our images. Representation matters. When we see positive images of ourselves, it lifts our spirits. You cannot be what you cannot see. So tonight, let's bring the truth. Here's one. Slavery did not benefit black people. <laughs> it's one of the worst crimes committed against humanity. Here's another truth. Unfortunately, too many Americans are struggling to succeed. Black Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, gay Americans, Jewish Americans, Muslim Americans, single mothers, and white Americans. We're all positioned to succeed when everyone, when everyone can benefit from the riches of America. And when we do that, we are one and we can compete in this global society. Here's some more truth. The greatest trade deficit in America is the trade deficit between white corporate America and black America. And as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. taught us, we cannot survive with two Americas. We must achieve one America. We cannot have one America until we deal with the truth. So here is the truth. America, you are killing black America in the classroom by making sure we do not get a proper education. You're killing us in the courtroom by making sure we do not have equal justice. You're killing us in the boardroom by making sure that we do not get real economic inclusion. And you're killing us in the hospital room by making sure that we do not have proper health care. And you're doing all of this long before you kill us in the streets. More truth. If we do not close the education gap, we cannot close the wealth gap. I can tell you where black America will be 40 years from now with one simple data point. What is the black student population of the top 50 universities white corporate America recruits from? If it remains under one or 2%, as opposed to where it should be, proportionate with the black population, approximately 14%, then nothing will change in black America. And America will never realize its fullest potential. When you come to my office and you get off the elevator, there's a sign that says, there isn't a bank in the world 
where I can deposit excuses so I don't accept them. <laughs> America, we can no longer accept your excuses. So I'm asking America to understand, appreciate, and accept the truth that the black community is one of America's greatest assets and not a liability. Our contributions are enormous. It's impossible for America to be the wealthiest country in the world without the contributions of black America. Our partnership going forward needs to be more respectful, inclusive, and balanced. Now, for all the young people out there, my wish is for you to recognize yourself in these extraordinary icons. We want to inspire you to cultivate your own talents, self-determination, and encourage the greatness that lives inside each of you. In this room, on this stage, or wherever you are, remember one thing. You are one of the most valuable assets we have. We need you. Your contributions make us stronger. To create the positive change we all need and deserve, your voice must be heard. With you, we can achieve one America. And when we achieve one America, we will achieve one race, the human race. And never forget what Harriet Tubman taught us. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. We will see you at the top. Thank you.